Hi, this is Krishna Subramanian, co-founder and COO of Comprise. We're excited about a trend we're seeing where our customer, who's typically a storage infrastructure manager, is seeing their role change from managing storage and backups to delivering data services. This is exciting because IT is now being asked to do things like interactive showback with their department. So they can really plan how data is growing, how it's being used, and the right data management strategy for it. They can help their departmental users search and find and use data in more meaningful ways for new applications like machine learning and AI and analytics in the cloud. They can work with their finance and legal organizations on important elements like data governance, data security, and segmenting data correctly during a merger or an acquisition. So overall, we're seeing the role of storage IT evolve into a more business-oriented role that is focused on delivering better business outcomes. Hi, everyone. My name is Karen Morstell, and I am a senior cybersecurity strategist at VMware. My team and I are constantly keeping a pulse on trending topics in the cybersecurity industry. As we wrap up 2022 and look ahead to the new year, there are a few themes I believe will be top of mind for organizations and security pros. Over the course of the next year, cyber risk management will be a top priority for business leaders. When it comes to the governance and oversight of cyber risk, our system is quite simply broken. It's no longer what it used to be 15 years ago. We are dealing with much higher stakes and fragile corporate reputations. As a result of this, in 2023, we will see companies double down on cyber risk management. Boards will need to have a much clearer role and responsibility when it comes to the process of ensuring adequate controls and reporting cyber attacks. Cyber risk governance is not just the domain of the CISO and is clearly now a director and officer level concern. When it comes to cyber, plausible deniability is dead. Additionally, I anticipate the prioritization of wellness will, and that will finally reach the InfoSec field. Burnout remains a critical issue across the industry with almost half of incident responders experiencing burnout or extreme stress in the past 12 months. On a more positive note, two thirds of organizations have implemented wellness programs to address burnout. And across the industry, we're moving towards wellness programs that help an organization's workforce manage stress and prevent burnout. And these programs will become even more prevalent over the course of the next year and beyond. While these wellness programs are great and moving in a positive direction, they are just one piece of the puzzle. Over the course of the next year, it will become the role of the manager to help recognize early on when their reports are struggling and work to address it before it snowballs into a major issue. Thanks so much for tuning in. From all of us at VMware, we wish you a happy and healthy 2023. Hello, I'm Candida Valois, field CTO at Scality. In 2022, data storage industry evolved to embrace advances in artificial intelligence, machine learning, hybrid clouds, and edge computing that enable greater data, data sovereignty and flexibility. In 2023, that pace will accelerate. Security considerations will dominate the data storage industries. Uh, storage projects will continue to hit roadblocks in 2023 due to issues with the supply chain and economic difficulties. So storage solutions will rapid uh, data recovery, multi-level security, and data immutability with ransomware protection will get the, chan the chance to shine. Also, unstructured data storage solution need better search tools and services to improve data analytics and mining. In 2023, these capabilities are expected to become more advanced and will be integrated with standard access method while maintaining security. This will make it easier to develop applications and allow object storage to be primary primary solution for storing and querying unstructured data. Furthermore, to prevent malware and ransomware attacks, 
which are becoming more common and costly, businesses must, must carefully evaluate and vet open source software dependencies before using them uh, extensively. Uh, and to reduce operational costs and save money, businesses are prioritizing IT solutions that reduce power consumption. Uh, the data storage industry is using low power, high density platforms and smart resource utilization to reduce power consumption. Vendors will offer solutions that save power and reduce the environmental um, impact of storage. And lastly, tighter integration of managed cloud services and object storage will emerge. Application vendors will offer their own storage APIs to improve monitoring, reporting, performance, and data placement. Um, these APIs will be adopted by object storage solution to provide better data protection, analytics, AI, and mail capabilities to enterprises and mid-market customers. Uh, object storage vendors will also partner with OEMs or managed services provider to offer private cloud S3 storage as a service solutions that customer can use within their own data center infrastructure. Thank you so much for listening and have an amazing 2023. Yeah, thank you. President Biden's uh, recent executive order mandating quantum proof encryption is absolutely signaling a change in cybersecurity policy for both the public and private sector. It's uh, not talked about enough, needs to be, but bad actors and nation states are stealing data today with the full intent of taking that data and decrypting it at a later time using such technologies as quantum compute. It's actually worse than that because at the same time, the algorithmic decryption is also enhanced uh, in brute force, the ability for bad actors to go steal data. It has never been uh, more important, in my opinion, for organizations to sit down with their CISOs and and as a management team, go back and relook at their cryptographic approaches. There are some new ones out there that make a big difference in the world, and I highly recommend that you, you take that seriously at this time. Hello, I'm Tom Huntington, Executive Vice President of Technical Solutions at Fortra. I spend my time helping customers understand automation and cybersecurity. Well, the 2022 year has certainly taught us that bad actors of the world are attacking more and more open source applications, as we saw in the example of Apache Log4j. It exemplified how far reaching these vulnerabilities go. My prediction for 2023 is that we are in the early stages of these types of exploits. Customers and software vendors need to stay diligent on keeping their servers up to date and train their developers on security vulnerabilities. That's why in 2023, education for your developers on open source best practices for cybersecurity is very important and the automation of keeping your servers up to date for your customers. These are going to be things that are on the top of minds of CIOs around the world. The other important ingredient here is vulnerability scanning of your IT assets for the servers that need to be patched and malware and other items that help protect you from the bad actors of the world. Have a great 2023 and we hope to talk to you soon. Hello. I am Erkan Jung. I am the CEO and founder of Jupiter One. I don't think there will be any huge changes uh, in 2023. We, we have seen a lot of the, the same progression of both in terms of technology on both sides, right? So the, the defense and the offense. Uh, I think that's what's interesting is that, you know, cybersecurity would play an even more important role uh, in organizations large and small. Maybe this you could call that this as a change in 2023 is that I do believe cybersecurity will become more of a community effort uh, than before, right? So we're seeing more uh, public sector, private sector collaboration. We're seeing more uh, people come together and work together in the community, right? One of those uh, is why supply chain security is so important uh, because nobody is in this fight alone, right? Whether you are in the, on the protection side of things or in the, um, a, a typical organization, you have to be part of that community. I, I really think the, the areas of focus is getting back to the basics and rethink 
how we do security and how we manage security, both from a technology standpoint and from a people and process standpoint. Uh, I think we've been doing a lot of the same old for too long. And it just feels like that a lot of times security teams are still playing this whack-a-mole and in this continuous, almost vicious cycles of uh, security tech debt that never goes away. And as a result, and there's a lot of work that we could do, a lot more meaningful work that the very talented security teams could do that just they don't have the time to do. So I, I really think that we should leverage uh, technology to help not necessarily think about the next gen and the you know fancy words of things, but really think about how do we use technology to take care of the basics so that we can free people up with the time to do the actual meaningful things. Uh, that would be a great change and improvement in 2023.